Hi dancers and yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and today I'm going to be sharing with you a newfound love of mine which is yin yoga. So I just announced that I'm going to be introducing yin yoga onto my channel so you're going to find a combination of many different styles but I just wanted to give a special video for yin specifically just to talk about how this style of yoga can really benefit dancers. So first, just to give you a very brief overview of what yin yoga is, it is a combination of Indian Hatha traditions and Chinese Taoist traditions. Indian Hatha yoga is something that I've already been practicing on my channel and I've already been providing classes like that. It's where we go through different asanas and different poses. So we're using these yoga poses but then combining that with the Chinese Taoist tradition. And in this tradition, it's believed that there should be a balance between your two energies in your body, your yin and your yang energy. Yin energy is thought of as being very calm, very cool, and very stable and unmoving. And then your yang energy is thought of as being a little bit more active, it's very warm, it's when you're trying to achieve goals or being a little bit more competitive, that's considered your yang energy. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the asanas from a hatha and vinyasa style and just approaching them from a different way, so adding a little bit more yin energy into these poses which is where we have yin yoga. So in order to make these poses a little bit more yin in energy, we're trying to be very passive. So it means that there is very little to no engagement in the muscles. It also means that we're holding poses for a very long period of time, anywhere from two to five minutes or sometimes even longer for more experienced practitioners. So it kind of goes without saying that this form of yoga is not for building strength, but it's more geared towards finding more improved flexibility. And there are three principles of yin yoga that I think are important to point out. The first is that you need to find your edge. And this is super important especially as dancers because in our training and when we stretch usually we're pushing ourselves to our absolute max fighting for that extra couple inches really always trying to achieve the next level of flexibility by attacking it with more of a yang energy in yin yoga you want to as soon as you find any moment of resistance from your muscles that's when you want to stop so because we're holding these poses for a really long period of time it's important that we don't go too far we just let gravity kind of pull our bodies pull our skeleton into a deeper stretch and that's where we're really going to find the benefit in this practice the second principle of yin yoga is to be still and i think this is the most challenging thing about yin yoga we're holding these poses for a long period of time and our brain just starts to wander and we get very tempted to fidget or to move around or to you know scratch the side of your head and it's important in yin yoga to fully experience the benefits to just try to limit any of that fidgeting and to just really truly be still and that kind of brings us right away into the third principle which is holding the pose and it sounds very similar basically what this means is you take the first maybe 30 seconds or so to get yourself comfortable in the pose so that means if you have to use any props make yourself comfortable you can make adjustments and then once you have found the variation that you're doing of whatever pose it is you stay and hold that pose for the duration of time for the two, three, four minutes, however long we're staying in that posture. So what yin yoga is trying to achieve is we're trying to stretch into our connective tissue. So we have what's called fascia, which connects our our bones and our joints to surrounding muscles and we have these bands of fascia that go from the top of your head all the way down to your feet from your fingers all the way into your chest there are lots and lots of bands of fascia throughout your body yin yoga is trying to stretch and find more space and flexibility within this connective tissue that's why we're trying to disengage the muscles and hold the positions for longer so that we can really get into that connective tissue so this leads me to the benefits that we as dancers can experience from doing yin yoga. So of course, because we're stretching into the connective tissue, you will find better range of motion, better flexibility, and better joint stability, which of course is super important no matter what kind of dance that you're doing. Yin yoga can also help you release any tension that you might be unconsciously holding within your muscles. And the mental benefits of yin yoga, because it is very meditative in nature, with practice your mind starts to quiet down and you 
are able to focus better and able to find a calmness within the mind much, much easier. And this can also help you to relieve stress and anxiety, which of course is good for anybody, not just dancers. But another reason why I feel yin yoga is super important for dancers is because dance is mostly kind of yang in nature if we're looking at the energy of it of the activity especially if anybody watching is part of uh, competitive dance competitive dance can be very yang in nature you know you're always trying to achieve a new goal you're always trying to work towards a new trick and you are quite literally competing with other dancers for certain awards and certain titles and I'm not trying to bash competitive dance at all that's where I grew up in the world that I sort of come from and I think what's missing in the competitive dance world is finding this balance of energy cross training with something that isn't quite so intense but still can be used as a tool to really help push your, your dance training forward. But what I believe to be the number one gift that yin yoga can give to dancers is that it gives you an opportunity to really just zone in, quiet your brain, and listen to your body. I think dancers are already very intuitive and connected to their bodies. However, when in our dance training do we ever prioritize just kind of relaxing into a stretch and really just focusing on the sensation in the body and really listening to our body with that kind of concentration. I don't think there's really anything else out there that gives you that capability and that really gives you that gift. I think it really has the ability to keep your body a well-oiled machine and it just keeps your joints feeling really, really supple and really, really supported and healthy. An important thing to add is that yin yoga should not be practiced every single day. You want to sprinkle them throughout the week depending on how intensely you are training. Basically, you just want to use it as a tool to cross train and to offset the yang energy that you experience in your dance training. So I trained in yin yoga through an online program Program from another Canadian yogi that I've been following for almost two years and she also has a YouTube channel it's called yoga with Cassandra and she has put together this really really incredible yin yoga training program so if anybody out there is themselves already a dance teacher and kind of wants to explore this way of stretching and this way of moving and getting a little bit more in depth into what yin yoga is all about. I have a link in the description down below that you can check out and that will bring you straight to the Yoga with Cassandra training page and I really can't say enough good things about it. I absolutely loved it, loved the course and of course it's pushed me to include these classes in my own channel so I hope that you can find some benefit from that program as well. And that's it for me for today. I hope you found this a little bit educational, maybe learned something about yin yoga and how it can help us as dancers. Please keep a lookout for some yin yoga classes. The first one will be available on my channel next week, which is the first week of September 2019, just in time for back to school and back to dance. And of course, so you don't miss any of these classes, be sure to subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness so that you get notified every time a new class comes up. Dancers, thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope to see you on the mat for some yin yoga very soon.